Sod Phase 4 PTR has been released. We're able to make a template character for level 60. And apparently there is some dungeons and maybe some raids we can do as well. There's tons of new runes. There's tons of new like class changes and everything. We're going to make a warrior. We're going to log in. And we're going to take a look at everything. Okay, we're going to see what it's all about here. I'm going to make a... Uh, I'm going to just randomize this four times. One, two, three, four. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. I'm gonna randomize the name, guys. Actually, can I? Do we have the name Guzu? Ah, okay. You know what? Let's just randomize it. Let it up. Let it up. Be up to the the WoW gods to decide the name, right? Tan Tanaya. That's really orcish. I like that. Let's do that. Tanaya. That's who we are. Um. Okay. So first things first. What we have to do, guys, is uh, you guessed it. We have to set up our stuff. Okay, so I, 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 I gotta set up a few things first, guys. Also, you may be wondering, Guzu, what is this new setup? Where are you? What's this background? Why is there a red carpet on the on the thing? Why do you have like a stupid alliance book right there? Horde is way better than alliance. And you may you are definitely right. I am currently in Serbia. Because as some of you guys know, um my fiance is Serbian, so I'm visiting her right now. So I'll be doing some streams and uh, and videos and whatnot from this place right now. So that's why the setup is like this now. Okay, so we're just here for a little while. And yeah, but let's set up our, our warrior so we can get some stuff going. Okay, guys? Don't forget meat hook. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get that too. Oh yeah, so look at this, guys. Meat hook. This is a new ability. This is a new baseline warrior ability. Throws out a hooked chain to restrain the target and pull them towards you. May not be used on enemies higher than 61. So warriors literally get like a pat, like, like a death grip. That's insane. Hold on, I wanna let me let me go try that real fast before we do anything else. A volunteer's tribute. Oh, I, I I can try it on you. Oh, are we on? Don't tell me we're gonna we're on NA servers, are we? Okay, hold on. So if I if I charge you, how long is the range? Oh my God, it's long. It's longer than charge. I can charge from here. And I can death grip or meat hook from here. Okay, so you can parry it. <laughs> okay, well, now you can parry it. That, that's good. Uh, what is that? Altar of the Atal Ally. You try to hook me. Oh, that is dope. What is that? You got wings? Wait, warriors get wings? Is that like a proc or... Oh, that's sudden death? That's a sick ability though. What? That actually looks so wicked. Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, I, I want to go set up the rest of my warrior. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I just reloaded. Alright, I'm gonna yield. I'm, I'm gonna go inside Iron Forge and set up my warrior now, okay? Oh, yeah! So this is how they're introducing uh, weapon specializations in, in, in Phase 4. Yeah, so you can put this on your ring. Let's say I want to go Axe Specialization. I no, I, I no longer has it as a default, I guess. Can you put this on both your rings? So I, I have Axe Specialization for being a warrior, or like for being an orc. But I can also double into the Axe Specialization with the rune, so I can get plus 10 axes. And I could go Axe... Can I go double Axe? I don't think I can, right? This effect's not... Con oh, it doesn't stack. Read the text. Well, guys, I'm learning. Read, mate. Chat, this is very overwhelming. Let me... Yes, I'm I'm learning it. Okay, guys? I mean, I, for Sod, I think it's fine, man. Like, you don't have to play an, uh, like a, an, uh, an orc or a human or anything like that for those specializations, right? I think that's okay. Uh, okay, let's do... Taste for blood on my head. Hmm... Oh, this is a new one. Okay, so let's go over some of the new runes, I guess. I mean, we already have some of them, right? But there's a chest rune. Is that new? 
Rend can be used in Berserker stance. Rend's damage is increased by 100%. And Rend also deals additional damage equal to 3% of your attack power. That's different. But is Rend still gonna be... Like, Rend is bad. Rend is 198 damage. But I guess it'll do... 300 and something damage? Plus 3% of my attack power? Is that good? I don't know. It's either that we can get Raging Blow or Flagellation, right? You gain... What? This is also different. Wait, they changed this too. Wait, a lot of stuff has changed. You gain Rage from Physical Damage as if you... Okay, so this is... Okay, so Flagellation is a tank rune now. Okay, so we don't go Flagellation at all. Flagellation is just gone. Like, this just doesn't exist anymore. Raging Blow, a ferocious we strike that deals 80% weapon damage, but can only be used while enraged. Maybe we just try Blood Frenzy. I mean, why the flip not? Sorry for the language, guys. Yeah, I, I, I think you go Raging Blow. Unless you can get, like, a giga amount of attack power. I think Raging Blow is going to be the, the move. Uh, waste. Focus Rage, reduce the cost of your abilities. That's the same. This is the same. Blood Surge. If, if I go Fury, you go Blood Surge. Arms, you would go Precise Timing, but Fury, you go Blood Surge, I think. Lex, same thing there. Consumed by Rage. Enrages you activating abilities which require being enraged for 12 seconds. After you exceed 30, 60 Rage. This is also different. Wasn't Consumed by Rage before where you did like 20% more damage or something above 80 Rage? Yeah, this doesn't seem that dank. This, this doesn't seem that good. Uh, in Rage Regions, the same thing. Intervene is Intervene, Gladiator Stance, and I get a well, Rally in Cry. I think if I, I'm, I'm gonna do some PvE content, we'll do Rally. Uh, Rampage. Going on Rampage increases your damage by 10% for 30 seconds. Only used by Enraged. When you're devastated and Revenge deals damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your melee attacks... Your critical melee attacks enrage you. And increases Mortal Strike, Bloodthirst, and Shield Slam damage by 10%. This is... This is different, right? It's been a while since I've been on the Warrior, but I think this is different too. So we get 10% damage on our Mortal Strike Bloodthirst for 12 seconds, and we can do Enrage stuff. Or we get like 10% attack power, kind of passively. Wrecking still sounds good. It sounds pretty good, yeah. It's just more damage. How, how yeah, does Rampage have a CD? I don't know, actually. Let's check. To oh, Rampage is a two-minute cooldown. Maybe try to go Wrecking Crew? Oh. Thank you for the for the 36 months, man. Three years. Thank you. This is a passive. And then we got Victory Rush, Endless Rage, more Rage, Single Mind of Fury. I mean if you go if you go you need to go single mind of fury if you're this, I think. Wait, this is just movement. Wait, wasn't this different? Wait, okay, these are changed. What the fuck? Okay, so this is just movement speed. And then less threat. This is a two-hand strike. And this is just more rage. So this is just better. Yeah, that's just better. I, I swear this used to upgrade your, uh, your attack speed as well. Dude, warriors are kind of nerfed a little bit. And these are all the, the stuff, obviously, sword specialization and whatnot. I'm go I guess I'm going axe and sword, so I'll go axe sword here, right? Yeah, everything has changed. This is crazy. Also, by the way, I don't know if we went over this in the beginning, but recklessness and uh, shield wall and retaliation is now on a five minute cooldown, by the way. Five minute cooldown. But instead of it being 100% uh, crit, what it is now is it 50% crit. So you see, I have 20 point, I have 20 point, uh, 20 percent chance to crit. I pop my recklessness. It's 70. This is insane. I don't need, dude. The thing is, you don't even need a, you don't even need 100% crit for wreck, man. 50% crit on a five-minute cooldown for 12 seconds is ridiculously good. That means you're gonna be able to wreck on every single boss. Right? So that's huge. That's actually insane. And then we also got uh, got that. Oh, there's dummies here. Ability. 
Oh, the damage meter doesn't work. Yapa dapa do. Um. Let me get recount instead. Um, there it is. Okay. So we kind of got our stuff set up now, somewhat, right? So, I mean, do you would you want to, like, do multiple like this? I don't even think Rent would do that much damage, honestly. I think we gotta put this here. Oh, yeah, and we get Sudden Death as well. Yeah, so even if I'm renting all these mobs here... It's still, like, by far my lowest damage. But, I, I mean, it's decent, I guess. But that's four targets with rend on them, right? For single target, that would not even be good at all. Yeah, the sudden death visual looks amazing, actually. It looks really cool. Look at this. It's like wings for warrior. I will say sudden death seems to proc a lot. So you can constantly weave in... Uh, executes, right? Okay, what if, what if I went, um, Raging Blow? Okay, so now we have that Enrage thing, right? So whenever we pop this, we can do Raging Blows. But Raging Blow still has a cooldown, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of spells are really changed, so it's, it's a bit different, right? There's a ton of, ton, ton of stat changes for Warrior, yeah. I think this Sodden Death, Death Rune is pretty pretty dank, though. That's gonna be really fun to play with, for sure. Because, like, my Execute is my main damage, like, way over my Bloodthirst. I don't even think you would want to touch Rend, right? I feel like Rend is kind of useless. I'm just doing single target, by the way. I don't want to try to do, like, AoE. I think Warriors are gonna scale good. I don't think that's gonna come as a surprise, but Warriors are probably gonna be doing quite well when you have gear. All right? But I mean, you want... Dude, Warrior completely changes with Wind Fury as well, guys. Once you get Wind Fury, Warrior is like a whole different class. Yeah, dude, I it's been such a while since I played Sod. I, I don't really remember how even to do stuff. Let's wait for the Death Wish and then let's try to uh, on, the, on the boss dummy and see how, what, what we can do. Alright, let's go in here. I was gonna say pop Bloodlust, but I guess that doesn't matter. Okay. So we can wreck early as well now. Okay. Yeah, but we would, we would probably want to go back and forth between circles still, right? I think I would only want to beam battle stands for overpower. So I, I just need some sort of an overpower add-on to like see when I get uh, like an overpower macro. To see whenever I get overpower procs to go into battle stands and I go back in circle, right? No, I should be getting Wind Fury. Why oh, is it not in range? Execute is gonna be so high damage. Yeah, you, you probably just want like um Yeah, like an overpower thing, right? So you can see your uh, your procs for that. So you always you sit you sit in circle stance, you go into battle stance for overpower, you go back in circle stance. Right? And there's also some set bonuses from the tier one set pieces, guys, uh, which we went over uh, on WoW Hit. And uh, warriors are gonna be benefiting a lot from stance dancing. You're gonna get like a bonus to your crit and damage and stuff like that when you stand st stance dance back and forth. So there's gonna be a lot of stance dancing. Man, I think I'm gonna do my warrior first, man, for uh, for phase four. I think that's gonna be the move. I just I don't know why, man. I just freaking love warrior for PVE, like for raid stuff and and and, and like dungeon cons. And I think warrior is so fun, dude. This dude, take me to the searing basin. Oh, test work. Oh. Does he hit back? Wait. Okay, he does. He does. He does. He does. You guys want to try to kill him? Chat, if anyone wants to make a group for test work real fast, uh, send me a wi whisper me your spec. Okay, whisper me your spec so I know which group to put you in. Uh, okay, let's let, let's bring let's bring some people, guys. Let's bring some people here. Uh, Shadow, Fire Mage, anyone that wants to come, guys, we're on the test realm. Okay, let's see how many people we can get for this. 
Uh, Brick, Bluefoot goes in there. Beam Hunter. Yeah, just your spec. Just your spec. That's all I need. I'll, I'll, you get, you're gonna get an invite. Uh, Nisos, Hunter. Alright, alright. Alright. Go to test work. And we buff. Uh, we filled just a... Alright, let's kinda see what we can do, guys. Let's, let's sort of go, man. I'm excited to see how warriors could crank, actually, as well. Let's go figure it out. Okay, there we go. Time is money, friend. Be aware, because a grind is lurking around. Alright, buff up, guys. Need to sort out a few spells, that's all good. Pretend to do no damage, so Blizzard nerfs warrior on live. Should I sandbag it and just do very little damage? Maybe we, we need to sandbag, guys. Uh, who are we gonna have main tank this? We got, we got, we got two tanks, right? Uh, I don't really know. Let, let, let's just go. All right, let's go, guys. Test work. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Okay. So we mainly want to sit in circumstance, I think. Right? That's gonna be the plan. Okay. But we also want to pop our uh, overpower whenever we're able to. But we need... I still don't have, like, a proc thing. Okay, let's see what we can do some... Oh, no, I didn't reset the damage meter! No, now it looks really weird! No! I mean, that's pretty much how it looks like, though, right? Okay. There we go. Put it on current fight? I don't know how to do that. Current fight. Damage. Oppa. Uh, what is that shaman damage? It's the elemental shamans. Dude, I knew. We went over the runes and like the new stuff for shamans and elemental just looked so cracked, man. What? Also, we have no wind fury, by the way, in this group. Where is... That's why... Wait... Shamlu, you're not wind furying! Sham! Wind fury... <laughs> no, uh, genuinely, wind fury actually does change a lot, okay? Like, it, 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 it really does. Shamlu, you need to put down wind fury totem! I, okay, I don't think he's gonna put it down, guys. I'm gonna be real. Damn, that's a... I mean, even with wind... I mean, with wind fear, how much DPS would we do? Maybe, maybe like, eight, eight, nine hundred? Okay, he put it down when it died. <laughs> Man, looks like warrior's really bad, guys. Maybe we should buff warriors. Actually. Oh, yeah. I think warriors should actually get buffed for phase four. Uh, there's no loot, by the way. So Galgalon cranking up. You actually use Spirit Wolves. Lightning Bolt, Lava Burst, Flame Shark. So shamans are just popping off at the moment. Oh. What? There should be some loot. Saw you had a note as loot. What? Do we want to kill it again, or...? I mean, we could try. Okay, this time I have Wind Fury. Make it Master. It, it just didn't drop anything. I will say, though, from what I've seen, uh, Elemental Shamans does seem like they're gonna be looking quite good. Can you hear the keyboard? Okay. Does he drop anything? What happened to Patch? Yeah, I don't see any loot. It definitely seems like casters are really doing well right now. Like, it's Elemental Shaman, it's, it's S-Priest, it's Elemental Shaman, Druid, Warlock, and then we have Warrior and then Mage, right? Rogues get a new poison. Oh, there it is! Placeholder, Aspringer quest. Ah! Totally real, not fake, super starter item for Aspringer quest. Super duper real, totally not a joke. Yeah, okay. Okay. Imagine if they actually put in an Ashbringer. I know that there uh, there was also some data mine stuff about like a uh, an an axe, right? 
I gotta go work. Thank you for coming. Can use Earthshark Filmation for this possible, so I'm missing a few hundred extra DPS. Oh, so you're missing a few hundred extra DPS, and you're 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 literally topping the meters, and you you don't even have your full thing. Warriors are gonna hopefully do well in the lo la la long game, right? Once we figure out the way to really do the rotations and how it works with Warrior, I think Warrior's gonna be fine. Because uh, they just scale so well. But Caster seems like they're really popping off, especially like Elemental. So we could potentially go Elemental on Badouche, right? Yeah, also this the set pieces, by the way, uh, are gonna be huge for Warrior, because they, they, they benefit a lot from stance dancing. You're gonna get a lot of extra uh, damage from stance dancing around. Um, which is gonna be hopefully good for Warrior. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I think I am gonna do my Warrior first, though. I, I think that's gonna be the plan. Okay, so was there something in Ashara? I heard there was something in Ashara we could check out, too. Deal for you. Do you guys want to do a um, a little trip to Ashara? I mean, Warrior does look interesting, but we'll, uh, you know... Oh! Wait, so it is like, a, it's an actual raid now. Okay, so this is the same... Kazakh is, a, is apparently the same, guys. They turned these raids, or like these world bosses, into a raid. So essentially like McTherdon's Lair, like Rule's Lair, stuff like that. Ersergos and uh, Kazakh will be a 20-man raid that you can go do once a week or whatever the heck. There's a summoning stone here in Ashara and you can go in. I'll, I'll try to go in, um, but I heard that it might buck me out. Let, let's try, guys. Let's see what happens if we can go in. That's an interesting... That is an interesting looking loading screen. Have we seen this before? Oh my god, I'm getting hella, hella pro box here. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, Irvana, j just kick me from the raid and I should be able to log in again, right? It's all dead mines. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that loading screen before. All right, so you, you, you can you can just, if, if you do, you're not able to actually play yet, but you can just do that, I guess. There, I wanna go check out Karashan, but should we go check out where Gruul is or like uh, Kazakh? We could go take a look at Kazakh's place. Uh, uh, if anything, I would just like to see where the portal is. That, that's just interesting to me. Uh, let's, let's just see if this guy has something new, chat, okay? I get, it's in a PTR very early on, but I thought it could be interesting just to take a look at everything, right? Um, there's all level 40 stuff. Parasomnia, level 50 stuff. Nah, there's nothing new here. I, uh, we have heard, um, we have seen that there, there's gonna be some new rings, perhaps from the Gurubashi event. We don't really know where they will be from, but there is some new uh, rings that got, uh, data mined too, right? Which are gonna be pretty nuts. Alright, well, nothing here, guys. Nothing at the STV. Let, let's go to uh, Blasted Lands. Alright, let, let's go see if we can find out where the instance for Kazakh is, guys. Where are the chances that we get Karasan Crips? I mean, it might happen. It definitely might happen. Wait, was that always there? Did... Guys, did... Did this always look like this in Sod? I don't think it did, right? PTR gang. Create a blizzard group. Archstone, we no world, we love World of Warcraft. PTR gang. PTR. Is this Let me try to invite uh, Nizos. Hold on. Must be a Battlenet friend. It's from Retail and Kata. I, I this might just be a PTR thing though, right? Yeah, this doesn't mean that it ha it's gonna, like, be a thing. Yeah. It's the window from Cataclysm? Yeah, okay. Pretty nice, though. I mean, maybe they're gonna introduce that. <laughs> Do we have a, um... I don't think we want to run through like this. No, uh, run in, um... I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea, bro. That's... I think we kind of have to work our way through. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's right there. 
Oh, it's literally right here. Wait, so this is the entrance. How did we not even see that? Oh, so they put like um they put like a few like little things here. A meeting stone again. And then there's an entrance. I assume you get bucked out. Brick, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss you lead brick and I'm gonna go inside, okay? Yeah, classic. Okay. I really love this loading screen though. It's really cool looking. Uh, Brick, just just um, just kick me from the raid, and then I'll I'll join in again. I don't know what because like world bosses in vanilla is like a very very big thing because they're kind of like you know it's like the whole world PvP like all that stuff people meet up and then like you know fight for them and everything like that. But I think for Sod, it's fine that it's instanced personally. Right, I, 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 for for sod it's fine. Like if for if for vanilla era, it would be different. Right, I don't really care since sod isn't vanilla. Yeah, it, I think it makes sense for 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 uh, for sod. On fire more Procus got ninety nine percent of them. I mean, usually it's it's just like the big Giga guild that that's that camps them. Right, I remember back when I played on a um a private server called Kronos. Uh, we used to have people in our guild take shifts to camp the uh, Asurka spawner. So there would be people, there would be two or three people at a time on like three, four hour shifts camping the spawn. Whenever they were done with their shift, there could be someone, there would be three, two, three, four other people that would then like take their next shift camping the spawn. Um, okay. So both of these are going to be instanced basically, but they're not, you're not able to go in right now. Oh, we could go sniff Ani. Yeah, Brick, can you do a portal to TB? Can, can you portal us to TB, Brick? Oh, Karashan! Oh, before we go, okay, before we go, I, I want to look at Kara. Yeah, I just want to take a one, look at, one little sniff at Karashan, okay? And then after that, we can we can go take a look at that. Let, let, let's go see Karashan real fast, guys. Because surely they're going to be releasing Karashan crypts, right? Uh, okay, so this is obviously closed, so we can't go through here. But I mean, what, what people are mostly excited about, I suppose, is gonna be the crypts, right? Yeah, so, I mean, we can all assume, guys, that there's probably going to be, obviously, a raid in here, right? They're gonna change this gate here with a nice instance, and we're gonna be able to raid here, right? Something will happen, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so you're trying to fear Galgalon in. I need to- I need Brink, Brick to come here. So we can get feared. Oh, uh, sheeped. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah! Okay, okay, and then we should be able to go through. This is how you used to be able to do it. Yeah, like this. Yeah. I mean, would this be a good spot for a raid? I feel like it do It would, man. They would definitely have to, like, lock up some of the things. And, like, you know, maybe, like, change a little bit of, like, the, uh, the, the places and stuff. But I think it could work really well. Isn't this where there's a heartbeat? There's a constant ha heartbeat in, uh, in Karasan Crips. I think it could work well. I mean, maybe they would have to, like, maybe, like, seal off this here. You would go in here. There could be a bunch of things here. Like, this could be maybe be some places you would have to activate or something. That's the ambiance of every Kara Crypt? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for it, man. Like, I haven't played Sod for a while, but I'm still excited for Phase 4. I, I, I still think it would have good potential to actually, like, uh, you know, be cool. But it depends on how they how they do it, right? There's a bunch of pressure plates in here. I assume a lot of y'all have already seen this place, right? Yeah, the names of the doors, they're Doodad Raud Iron Door. Yeah, 08. But you you were always able to go in here. Like all these areas were always accessible. There's like really nothing new here, right? And I mean we we could go check out the Unixia's lair as well, but I guess there's nothing new in, in this place here. 
And then down here, you will be able to go downstairs, right? So maybe once you clear this, you will be able to go downstairs, right? Into Pauper's Walk. And you could go further down. Is this the end of it? No, you can go further down this way. This is called a crypt, right? There's some massive, massive juicer here. And then you can go that way here. Leads to... Oh yeah, this place you can fall down. This place here, it falls down into like a... Um, I don't know, like... A, like uh, I'll, I'll go show you guys where it is later. But oh, there's some gates here. Big type of rattle gorge boss in this room, yeah. There's this room over here. This could be a potential boss room, right? There's that thing down there, there's a little gateway to. And then over here, this is the, the very, very well-known place. Called the um, Upside Down Sinner's Place. This looks not good though. Hold on, let me fix it. That's how it's supposed to look like. Yeah, the Upside Down Sinner's. I mean, we all know this place. Really, really freaking creepy, man. Where all these are, right? Yeah, just a bunch of hooks and a bunch of like people hanging upside down. And then here, there would be there, this could be a big boss, right? The Slow of Despair. If I, if they were to actually do a boss here, I could see Blizzard do a viscous type of boss here. Some big slime blob, man. Like, unironically, I could see a slime blob, blob boss being right here. Just some big old slime. I'll... Oh! No, no, I'm typing in this court! <sighs> yeah. What if they do the Jailer? Yeah, okay, so if you accidentally fall into the hole here... Um, this is the place down here. Big massive uh, well, and then you can go this way, and I think this over here is the final spot, right? Uh, it's probably been a while since I've been here. If you've ever done Lucid Nightmare, that uh, quest chain in retail where you get that mount, with the, with the puzzles where you go to Ulduar and stuff like that, I think this is where you get the mount. Right here. Yeah, up here. This is where you go here, and then you pick up a mount. Scam Sue. And there's also a hole here, so I think you can fall down from up, stop, up, up top. Uh, can we go to Unixium? Uh, let's go TP. Okay, let's go check out, guys, one final thing we, we want to go check out, at least on the PTR. I want to check out Unixia's Lair, if we're actually able to enter it. Because we apparently do have the Pendant. We have the Drakefire Amulet, so perhaps we're actually going to be able to enter it. Uh, you're fine to... For, wait, what? Are, TP to the Eastern Plague Lands. So are, are we actually able to enter this? Oh! You are where you should... Oh, come on! All of that running for... I thought... Well, apparently, chat, they're turning Unixia's Lair into a 20-man raid, okay? I mean, frankly, wasn't Unixia's Lair already a 20-man raid, though? I mean, we could go to Stratholme. We would only want to bring uh, five people, though, for that. Yeah, I don't think we can even go from the from the back door. Oh, this guy is actually already inside. Well, some people have been doing it or what? Oh, we don't even have the key! Um. Oh, the rogue can open it up, though. Alright, let's sort of clear this up real fast. Let's see how it feels to play as well. Oh yeah, you got way... You, you got a lot of uh, consumes as well. So I didn't know World so Wind Fury. Wind Fury does change it up a whole bunch for Warrior, for sure. And once we get those set bonuses, guys, that's gonna be pretty dank too as well. Uh, I didn't find any of the big rage pots, honestly. But once you can spam execute procs, man, with full will buffs and everything, I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good. You see this proc here? That's th that's sudden death. So every time we get that, that means we have execute up basically. Okay. They're provoking the red players. It looks anime. I, I like the way it looks, personally. Oh, this is a lot of mobs. Recklessness being on a 5-minute cooldown, though, is pretty freaking nuts. 
It's still not 100% uh, crit though. But it is pretty dank. Uh, can I do like a uh, current fight damage? Uh, we're kind of dying, guys. Um, so. Yeah, we. <laughs> we shouldn't pull like that. Our tank is back. Dude, he's ready to crank it. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, 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 don't pull that, we need, okay. <laughs> grip them in, grip them in. Dude, look at this, grip them in. Now I'm gonna grip the other one. Just gri grip in the caster. Yeah! Oh, shit. Isn't it time to move on from WoW? At what point is it time to say goodbye to our childhoods? Maybe it's time to just become like a From Software uh, game main. Just like start doing challenge runs in From Software games, man. You know? I right, see we can pop off here, guys. Big damage, big damage, big damage. Okay, we pop everything. Big damage here. Nice. Do that. Scarab. Dude, Nama is popping off though, actually. That is a big damn there. Execute. Dude, I guess you just get, like, warriors, just, you just pray for procs. And then you can just spam executes. I got giga procs. So if you just get a buttload of procs, you can just spam execute and do big damage. Inspect me. Oh, you went this thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, you went Wailing Berserker. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we, we gotta go uh, the other way. Yeah. We... <laughs> I think we're doing a full clear. <laughs> uh, let's go. Yeah, we, we have... So we have to clear the cigarettes. We have to clear cigarettes. Then we can go for final mob. A bus. Dude, that grip is so sick, dude. Okay. Pray for big procs. Pray for big procs. I should just save Death Wish for boss. I mean, dude, I, th I think Warrior is gonna be the just the proc overlords. If, if the stars align for Warrior, you can just do so much. How fucked is Warrior in the current state? Um, I think Warrior's gonna be fine. I mean, I don't know, maybe there's gonna be some tweaking needed or something like that, but I, I think overall Warrior seems pretty decent. They're, they're very proc-based with, the, with the Sudden Death, if you do go Sudden Death. I, to be fair, I haven't tried playing with fresh meat. But I think nothing can really beat Sudden Death. I, I, I think Sudden Death is just so much better. I actually... I think it'll be fine. I think once you get well buffs, when, once you get good gear, learn the rotation properly, warriors are gonna be great. I think the big winner though for, at the moment, for specs being good is Elemental Shaman. Elemental Shaman seems incredibly strong. Like actually, like actually insane. Okay. So we're just praying for procs essentially, right? Did that execute just miss? I'm just hoping for procs, that's literally it. I mean, I think warrior has potential, guys. Imagine you pull, you pop recklessness from the get-go, you pop death wish, and you just get proc, 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 and when you just spam execute. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, I don't have intercept! Oh my god, I don't, have I don't have recklessness as well. Okay, pray for procs, pray for procs. Uh, we need to kill those skeletons, by the way. Yeah. Because he's gonna... Oh, mamma mia, we're not killing them, are we? Oh, he's gonna heal. Yeah, yeah. Does grip work on bosses? Let's try. Nah, invalid target. That would actually, that would actually be really fun if it did. Man, just seeing those warrior with the wings is so weird. 
All right, let's see if it drops chat the mount. Let's just see. I mean, honestly, I will say Warrior does feel fun to play with the with the procs and everything. You have to get used to it a little bit, but it feels pretty fun. I mean, I'm interested to see how two hand would work though, and if you play other specs. Let's see. Ah, robes with the exalted is a huge drop though. B stalker leggings, no mount. Is LP TR big num damage numbers could change? Yeah, I mean, I'm not too concerned about how the warrior feels, like uh, how the warrior does in damage, because they're probably gonna nerf and buff and everything. I'm just like, does it feel good to play? And I think Warrior does feel good. It's fun with the procs. And it's gonna be even more dank with the the, uh, the stand stance macros and the stand stance uh, sets and stuff. GG's guys, GG's guys. I really hope they do a new raid though. We know we have the Molten Core, we have the Asurgos and the Kasak and everything like that. And we have that heat setting in Molten Core. But I really hope we're gonna get a new raid or something. That would be so sick. Right?